Hi guys, welcome back to my rabbit hole of K-pop. I am Atomic Rabbit. I'll finally be watching The Killing Voice. I have actively ignored and avoided all the parts that came on to my TikTok and my Twitter. Of course, it wasn't completely possible to avoid every single thing, so I've heard a couple of things. One of the most impressive things was today I saw a TikTok pass by uh, comparing DK's first, I believe it was a live performance at the radio show for uh, Akina, Adore You, uh, compared to this one. And this man has always had powerhouse vocals, insane powerhouse vocals. But when you compare those two, when you hear those two side by side, one after the other, you can hear how much he has grown as a singer, how much the quality of his voice has improved, the quality of his sound, which is weird because you keep listening to it. I kept listening to that TikTok on repeat and you listen to the first thing individually and you hear and it sounds so good. And then you hear the second part and it's like it's a remastered version where the sound is super clean and heightened. It's like it went from 720 megapixels to watching it in 8K high resolution. That's the change in his sound. It's insane. I can't wait to watch this. Let's go watch it. <laughs> Dino's always on a mission. Ladies
다음 곡은 어쩌나입니다. 아, 근데 yeah. 이쯤 돼서 저는 슈아의 재롱을 보고 가고 싶은데요. 재롱? 네. 삼행시 한번 보고 갈까요? 아, 어쩌나 한번 가볼까요? 하나, 하나 둘, 둘, 셋, 어! 어쩌면 하나, 하나 둘, 셋, 저! 저 멀리서 오, 좋아! 하나, 하나 둘, 둘, 셋, 나! 슬프! <웃음> 나의 밤은 딥딥 켜져 있는 TV 시끄럽지 내 맘처럼 넌 대체 어떠한 이유로 내 맘을 꼭다 켰다 니 멋대로인지 그게 싫다 난게 아니고 No 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 혹시니까 너무 할까봐 걱정돼서 그렇지 내 맘이 그래 你的爱，你的爱，你的爱，你的爱，你的爱，你的爱，你的爱，你的爱，你的爱，你的爱，你的爱，你的爱，你的爱，你的爱，你的爱，你的爱，你的爱，你的爱，你的爱，你的爱，
Oh, the harmonies. This is. Ah. Oh. 네, 다음 노래는요. 저희 세븐틴에게 많은 추억을 만들어주고 또 많은 사랑을 받게 해준 All One 앨범의 타이틀곡 울고 싶지 않아입니다. 많이 사랑해 주세요. 원우야, 너 지금 기분이 어때? 울고 싶지 않아. 울고 싶지 않아. 사랑해서 사랑한다는 말이 부족해서 그 어떤 말을 꺼내 봐도 너 하나만 아끼도 날 두고서 어디 간 거니 내가 싫어 어, 어져서 멀리 가 이란 노래인데요. 네, 세븐틴의 좀 서정적인 타이틀곡 중 하나입니다. 이 노래의 가사처럼 이 노래가 여러분께 안식처가 될수 있기를 바랍니다. 이번에 들으실 곡은 여름밤에 가장 듣기 좋은 음악입니다. 우리의 새벽은 낮보다 뜨겁다. 어떻게 보면 세븐틴 같은 제목이죠? 원래 새벽은 낮보다 뜨거우면 안 됩니다, 여러분. 모두 잠든 밤 이리 아름다운가 달빛에 담아낸 너의 미소가 어두운 밤을 빛내 파도 같은 웃음소리 길을 간지럽혀 전부 벗어나의 트도와 그들 기준에 보합하지만 이 시간을 이 새벽은 더 뜨겁고 날이 밝으면 더 world is ours 우리의 추억이 되고 넘치는 파도 그 안에 남겨둔 우리 글씨에 서로 이름을 새기며 오케이 딩고 과정으로 다 같이 우리의 새벽은 낮보다 뜨거워 아침이 언제까지 시내 서머 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 Okay, so our next song is Darling. It's our first English track and it's a love letter to our carrots. So, hope you guys really love this song. It's for you. <laughs> and scream Darling, Darling. I want to know what problem board type are DNA. First day my feet and worry, do you bet? I 
저희 세븐틴 정규 4집 앨범 타이틀곡 핫 많이 사랑해 주시고요 저희 세븐틴 킬링 보이스도 많이 사랑해 주세요 지금까지 세븐틴이었습니다 네, 세븐틴 감사합니다 땡큐 딩고 안녕 디아 앤 지오 아 딩고 바이 땡큐 땡큐 So as soon as I am done recording, I am putting on 18. That song sounds like it is one of my kryptonite songs because it has that certain kind of vibe to it that just reaches for depths into my soul and brings out stuff that I didn't know was there. That, that's the kind of song that it sounded like. And why I have never heard it before today is beyond me because I was certain that I added all the albums to my Spotify playlist. I have a K-pop playlist which I listen to almost on a daily basis and sometimes I just want to listen to one group specifically so I have uh, put all the albums and single albums into playlists for them and <clears throat> my Carrot Land playlist has all the albums so I probably just never got to it before today it's something I need to rectify. I could listen to these guys singing for hours on end in this. Watch them and listen to them doing just this. Listening to their performance live, just listening to their voices, hearing the different techniques they use, hearing the softer, the louder, the harder, the more pronounced, the less pronounced, the more lazy, all those variations in their voices, just listening to that, I could sit here and, and listen to that for hours and it's a joy to be able to watch them do it, to watch them getting into these songs and perform them and not getting tired of performing them and singing these songs because their discography is so extensive and so varied and the fact that this is just a handful of songs out of all those songs that they have made. They haven't been around that long, but they have so many different songs that are so uniquely Seventeen and so full of their spirit. And you can hear that. You can hear that whole journey. You can hear where they come from and where they're going and how they just never lose their soul as 17. You can hear that in those voices. And when you have that in these in-ears, and these are better than my earphones from my phone, the sound that is coming through these is insane. So listening to this, it's like I'm washed over by this whole thing. And it's, it's almost an outer body experience that I just went through and it was like I was watching their concert or their carrot land being at home with my family that is how it feels when I'm spending time with Seventeen like this. I also saw that today they announced uh, Asia dates for the tour 
which is giving me hope that maybe, maybe, maybe they're also gonna come to Europe. So keeping my fingers crossed. This is this is not a want, this is a must to to experience these people live. Thank you so much for joining me on my couch. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you on the next one, guys. Annyeong.